Welcome back. The sixth annual Chef Tacular competition is coming up next Monday, May 6th at Carmel High School. It supports culinary education and those fighting hunger actually as well in our community. Welcome to Carmel High School student Julia Honey and last year's winner, Chef Lucy Wright from Pandas Pastries in McCordsville to tell us about their experience together. Hi friends, welcome. Welcome. We're so happy you're here. Wow. Well, great to be here. Well, congratulations and this is so wonderful to have you both here. What can you tell us about Chef Tacular? Yeah, so the Chef Tacular is in its sixth year this year, and it's really best described as the gift that keeps on giving. The core of Chef Tacular is to give an opportunity to young, aspiring chefs to be able to take a peek into the inner workings of the uh, hospitality and culinary industry so that they can better know, like, do I want to do this in five to ten years? Yeah. Is this going to be my life? Mm -hmm. um, but through that, mentor-mentee relationship that we can build. A lot of students have actually gone back to their mentors and worked under them if they, you know, are like, this is what I want to do, like my favorite Julia here. <laughs> Aww, love it. And throughout this internship as well, um, the top three student winners get a scholarship to Sullivan's University in Kentucky. Oh, wow. that's great. Which is one of the best culinary schools in the nearby area. Yeah. Also, uh, the part of the proceeds go to Hamilton Harvest County Food Bank. Wonderful. And yeah. it's really, you know, it's really important to us that we support our community yeah. and it's great to show the students different ways to give back and the importance of giving back as well. That's great. Julia, mm -hmm. how long have you been just in love with cooking and baking and all of that? Um, forever, yeah, honestly. Yeah, as long as you can yeah. remember? Yeah, um, my dad, uh, we have a Mickey Mouse waffle maker. Okay. And um, ever since I can remember, every Saturday he would make us like chocolate chip Mickey Mouse waffles. Fun. When I was like five, I think I wanted to help him. Okay. And so I just, you know, I got up and I helped him make, you know, this quick Mickey Mouse pancakes. And ever since then, I was like, every time we went to the store, I'd pick out like a mix and I would cook and give it to my sisters and it was it was just always something that I could like express myself with yeah. and share with my family and my friends and you know I've gotten better since then I've stopped using like mixes and yeah it's great it, I, I love the message of just how simple that gesture could be of like starting with a Mickey Mouse waffle maker definitely yeah. and here you are and you're you're working with uh, Chef Lucy to learn more about your passion. I'd love to hear more about this. What are we eyeing here? What's going on? Yeah, so this is our strawberry sunrise cake. I made this in the second year that I was doing Chef Tacular. Okay. Um, so in Chef Tacular as well, it's great because the teams get to pick a secret ingredient out of a hat. Yeah. And we pair it with a balsamic or olive oil from Olive Mill in Carmel. Fun. So when you go to this event, it's really amazing because you have top chefs around the Carmel and surrounding areas that are mentoring these students and it really gives them a way to create just super innovative dishes such as this and the people that come get to taste things that they would almost never find in the yeah. area as well. It's fantastic. Well, I'm thinking we should try a I slice. Mean, Absolutely. I think we should. <laughs> oh, really? Quality Ooh, yes. yeah. You Quality have to control. do it. So as you're cutting off a slice, what would you like to make note of with what you've created here? Yeah, so our ingredient was strawberries. So we are doing, and lemon olive oil. Oh, so we really? did a lemon olive oil chiffon cake mm. and we layered it with some lemon curd to give it a little more tang strawberry coolie and strawberry mousse and my student that year actually named it strawberry sunrise Love it. oh great Very great at naming things oh i'm excited for this well you're serving this up and i know in the meantime we've got the details for the event up on the screen it's such a fitting cause that you've chosen to for those who have a passion for food to also be supporting a cause like food insecurity in our community. Yeah, so right. just always wonderful when you can support a great cause and mentor a lot of the talent that's coming up here in our area. And yeah, I'm excited to Julia, what's it been like working with Chef Lucy? It's been a lot of fun, um, very humbling. Very humbling. <laughs> yeah, because I mean, you know, in the program, you know, you're really only in the kitchen with your peers and your teacher. Mm -hmm. And so, I mean, mm -hmm. you know, you, you don't really, you get to challenge yourself, but not as much. Yeah. And then, you know, Shiftacular came and I got to work in a professional setting with like people who are actually like in the industry. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it was very humbling to see like what I, how much I actually don't know sure. and how I can mm -hmm. 
you know, acquire that knowledge. Mm. And through Lucy, I've learned so much more, and I've gotten just so much better in the yeah. past year. It's great. Um, yeah, That's she's fun. she's taught me to, you know, never stop challenging myself, but to yep. never let my failures like override my successes. Wonderful. That's a good message that right there. Wonderful. Yeah, we'll oh, check out the pandapastries.com as well there in McCordsville. Yes. That is Chef Lucy's So shop. good. Uh, thank you. You are on your way. We can tell. Yeah, thank you this so much, incredible. friends. incredible. Check it out Monday at Carmel High School, May 6, 6.30 to 8.30. You can learn more at carmelculinaryboosters.com. Thank you, friends. Thank, thank you both Thank so you so much. much. Thank you, thank you. We've had